that's going to be online. It's going to be a Zoom uh, meeting that we're going to do with them. And uh, we do group. We do. We're going to start forming a group for people that want to take it further and and all of that. So we're we're developing a lot of stuff and redeveloping a, a, a lot. So there's a lot of change going on right now. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you know that I love synchronicities. I love synchronicities. And it was Einstein who said, um, he actually called it coincidences, but coincidences are God's way of remaining anonymous. And I love this because I'm launching a brand new community group that will also go through Zoom. And I launch mine on September 9th. So what are the chances on that? Don't you love it? How can a person not be in love with life? It's just fun. It's just so beautiful. I just, I'm just jumping out of my chair. So like September 9th, you're kidding. I love it. Oh, Art, that's awesome. That's, that's awesome. awesome. I'm glad yeah. you're doing that. So good. You have the ability to help many, many people. So. Oh, thank you, Art. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it so much. And I know that you do. You you are fabulous, powerful in the work that you do. And that's one of the things that I wanted to ask you also is what is it that you would like the listeners of this show to know about expectation therapy? Uh, I think that the biggest point that, that I want to make with it is that Taking responsibility for your own action, actions, making choices will absolutely change your life. It will give you confidence like you've never had before. It will get, bring creativity into your life. It will, it will enhance every bit of your life. Communication skills, your family life will get better. Everything gets better when your expectations get better. Yeah. 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 And that's not even, it's not a complicated thing. I mean, I mean, I know there's many steps to this, but that's just such a simple, wow, I think I can do that. That's something that I can grab a hold of. I can put my teeth into that. And there's something I can actually do to really turn my life around using expectation therapy. That, and what, that, that oh, is the, the beauty of it is that it is it, so simple that anybody can do it. If you, if you're, I always say if you're from 13 to 103, you can use expectation therapy to change your life. Yeah. Oh, isn't that awesome? That's awesome. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Right. There's there's no age in the right because life is is no um, appreciator of age. Life offers itself to everybody, no matter where you're at uh, in that age game. So I think that's fantastic. And I'm curious because I love the science. I, I love everything about science and how it intertwines with our world. Can you tell us a little bit more about the science behind expectation therapy? Well, the science behind it is in the, in the physics uh, formula. You know, I, when I, I spoke at Harvard last September, and uh, when I was speaking there, I realized I had somebody come up, an astrophysicist come up, and we were talking and they, they said to me, you know, you are so unusual. And I said, I know I'm unusual. But he said, no, 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 no. Really, he said, in our world, we deal with the abstract. We don't ever see anybody who has actually believed how we actually think. And I went, wow, that's, that's powerful. Yeah. And then he proceeded to tell me, do you realize at nine years old, when you went up onto the top of that hill and you laid on your back, I believe that you were putting out vibrations into the world. Yeah. And you have lived all these years, 70 plus years, and have gotten to the point where you have seen the full circle of those vibrations that you put out. And I had never, ever thought of it in that context. Yeah. But when you think about that, yes, I, I do believe that I, I put out vibrations in the world. And, I, and I, all my life, I attracted the good things and, 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 and tried to follow that path. Yeah. And I never realized that 72 years later, I've completed a circle, a circle of life. And, and, and I always tell people, I'll never retire. I'll never quit. I'll always help people. Yeah. And, you know, I think it started as a nine-year-old when 
I felt so lonely and abandoned that I made a choice at that time unconsciously of wanting to help people so they wouldn't experience what I, what I experienced as a nine year old or as a 18 or 30, it doesn't matter, manage your age. Anytime you feel lonely and abandoned, it is, it is a terrible, terrible feeling. And, right. uh, we don't, you know, we don't, I don't want anyone to have to experience that. So. Right. Absolutely. And isn't that it? And how many people have experienced that, that, that loneliness and that abandonment and carried that with them through their lives, not realizing that there was another way to do that. And I just think it's powerful that at nine years old, you were sending out vibrations. I 100% am absolutely in agreement with that. And science has proven that physics has completely proven that, that we have a vibration that our thoughts literally are transmitted into this emptiness that we can't see, which isn't empty at all. And our thoughts literally are transmitted out there. And it's interesting because when you went on the hill and laid down and had the conversations with God and you were transmitting a vibration and all of this good kept coming to you and you were in alignment with this good and helping other people. Then when your wife passed away years later, when your wife passed away, that's such a low vibration, right? I mean, if, if we can't get out of that grief and that depression and that pain, then it seems like we magnetize to us also things that are in alignment with pain and grief and and being stuck and i'm not discounting the grief you were in that's not what i'm saying at all but no no, i understand yeah we get stuck in it sometimes and isn't that amazing that that here you're stuck in it and 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 your kids being more in air quotations a little bit more awake they're saying you know hey dad this is what you didn't you promised mom you were not going to do this and then you were able to turn that around into this beautiful (laughs) fabulous life that you have going on now. I just find it fascinating art. Yeah. Isn't it true though? Isn't that what a lot of people do in life? It may not be with the death of a spouse, but just they get into a rut and they stay in that rut because they don't believe that, that, that they have the power to change anything. This is all about changing. This is all about having the power to change. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And as we start bringing this in for a landing, it just reminds me that we are always changing, even if we think whatever those goals are that we set for ourselves, as soon as we hit that goal, most of us don't stop. It's just, it, it's a mile marker. And then we continue on because I met that goal. And now I'm moving on to the next goal, because we're always growing and changing and evolving into the best version of ourselves. And I believe this is exactly what your expectation therapy helps people to do to bring them down that path to really start changing their life in the most powerful way and seeing results very quickly. Uh, it's, you hit it on the head. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's where it's at. And too many people just get stuck in that everyday, you know, rut that they're in and, and don't want to change. I mean, uh, I'm dealing with some people right now with the football season coming up. Their husbands are are already geared up and they've got their jerseys on and they've got their refrigerator full and they're ready to live that life for the next 16 weeks of the NFL, you know? And it doesn't make a lot of women happy. Some do, some adjust to it and either do their thing or they they join in and, and with the festivities. But Really, my experience is the majority of people want more than sitting and looking at a at a football game and hearing people cheer. But anyway, <laughs> that's 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 where it's at. So right. you know, I I help those people that want to change change, and that's yeah. that's the key to it. They have to want to change. Right, fabulous. All right, um, Art, we're going to wrap this up. Would you come back and be with me next week on another show? Because I have so many more questions. The time went by too fast. Can you? Come- Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. So in the meantime, where can people contact you if they want to get in touch with you and find out about expectation therapy? Everything that uh, I have is on expectationtherapy.com. And I'm on all social media. Uh, uh, My expectation on 
expectation therapy on Instagram, my expectation on Twitter. Uh, but really, my website is the best way to get a hold of me. All right. Awesome. Awesome. And that will be, we'll have that information in the show notes. And Art's going to come back and speak with us again next week. And in the meantime, if you want to get in touch with me and know anything more about my programs and what it is that I have to offer, I offer a free gift on my website. All you have to do is go to nadahogan.com backslash epic life. Art, thank you so much. And I'm thrilled to be back with you next week. Have a beautiful week. And thank you for being here with me this time around. I can't wait. (laughs) Bye-bye. Thank you for spending time with us today. Please go to nadahogan.com for show notes and other information you can use right away. If you like what you heard here, please subscribe to our show. And don't forget to rate and review right there on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, or wherever you get your shows. And don't forget to tell your friends about it. We'll see you next week.